In the record of human thought, not only were the prophets of Israel the first philosophers to envision world peace, they were also the first to envision a global consciousness, a consciousness that would unite all of humanity. What does it mean that the knowledge of God will cover the world like water covers the sea? What does that vision mean for us? What does that look like? Can we make sense of that in the 21st century? When you look at the globe today, it's becoming like a brain, an interconnected consciousness with all people from all countries. Every cell phone, every internet connection is becoming a broadcast network and a satellite receiver to receive all of the world's information at our fingertips. Every time you send out an email, every time you post something on Facebook, every time you tweet something out, you're sending out information to different receptors around the globe. Ideas are meeting ideas, they're birthing new ideas. Consciousness is evolving, creativity is expanding, but with that, so are the lies. The battle today isn't about missiles or bullets, it's a war of ideas, and now the battlefront is what are the right ideas for our global community? What are the ideas is we want to reign what is truth and what is not truth and here perhaps is the purpose of the existence of the state of Israel nestled in the Middle East surrounded by tyranny and oppression we're a beacon of light in the darkest region in the world a light for the nations around us and ultimately a light for the entire world every time you share the truth about Israel you are partnering with that vision of the prophets you become a voice of Israel and that voice of Israel will cover the world like water covers the sea.